So the next part of this process, this project we're going to do is we're going to add a kitchen to the kitchen area. Uh, in the beginning, I normally just model the countertops and put in some appliances, and then later on, I'll add cabinets as, as the design progresses. So to add a cabinet top, we're going to go up here into Component, Model in Place, and then we're going to go down to Casework. I'm just going to call it Casework now for one for now. We're going to click Extrusion, and we're going to click Pick Line, and we're going to pick these two lines here. And then we're going to also do an offset of two feet for now. And just end the cabinets. Fill up the edges. Bring this one in a little bit. Bring this one in a little bit. And then for the extrusion start, it's going to be 2 feet 10, 2 feet 10 and a half. The extrusion end is going to be 3 feet. And then just finish. So if you look, if you look in the section, I like clearly don't have the right section. You can see the counter is at the right height now. And later on when we go to add cabinets, so we'll just go underneath. And then the last thing we're going to do is just add one more casework for the island. So I'm going to finish this model. I'm going to do a new model in place. Up here, component in the architecture tab. Casework. Same thing again. Just lined up with those edges. Now we have an island as well. Finish that model. And then the last part of the kitchen is to place a few elements in the kitchen. So we're going to go down in here. We're going to find, we got a refrigerator. Add one of those. Go up into here. Range. And the last thing we'll add, or two, two last things we'll add: a dishwasher and a sink. I'm just using the space bar to rotate. Dishwasher and a sink. And then actually, I forgot one component. We're just going to add some island chairs, which I just saw what was in there. Just going to put some
I'll even those up later, but for now, that'll work for the kitchen area.